Hi guys! Today we're going to go over five questions that you should really ask yourself mm -hmm. before starting a blog. Now, it's really easy to just start a blog, but it's really important for you to know a whole lot about blogging before you actually start it because it's actually a lot more difficult than people actually think when it's a, yeah. it's keeping up with your blog. Yeah, so. so it's not, we want it to be a good process for you, not a frustrating process. So the more you can learn about it before you even start, the more you know what is ahead of you, the better prepared you can be and the more successful you're going to be as well. Right, exactly. So obviously there's so much to cover, but here are the top five questions that you should really ask yourself before starting your blog. One, do I want to make this a full-time thing or just a part-time? This is just very important for you to ask yourself this because this will determine the amount of time that you can really put into your project, into your blog, right? If you all of a sudden are very unrealistic and say, oh yeah, I'm going to make this blog huge and I'm going to, most of my income is going to come from this, but you have two hours a week to do it, then you're going to disappoint yourself. You're going to hit a wall because blogging like to Chris said, it's a lot of work. So determining the amount of available time that you have and also understanding what you want to get out of it yeah. will help you really plan for it. Yeah, and also with blogging, you need some patience. Um, yes. It takes a while for you to get a little bit of recognition, to get the flow of things, um, you know, so, and even to see, start seeing income. So again, you need a lot of patience. You shouldn't get discouraged. You shouldn't yeah. get frustrated. Um, and if you say, okay, this is going to be a part-time thing, or this is just my creative outlet, that frustration won't come out because exactly. you're okay with it being part-time or just with yeah. a hobby. And the second question that you need to ask yourself is, what will, you, what will you write about it? Is there something that you're passionate about that you create content for forever? That's important. Yeah, it's really important. I think, um, again, it's a lot more difficult than people actually think mm -hmm. um, with taking pictures, creating content, scheduling. It's really tough. So you want to make sure that you are blogging about something that you're truly passionate about so you can do it forever, for a long time. And again, we like we said, it takes a while yeah. for you to get some recogni recognition. So it's important for you to have that passion behind it and keep posting, doing blog posts without you know, getting any attention. <laughs> yeah, and it, what are you knowledgeable about? You know, if you're all into health and fitness and you like to cook, then probably creating content about recipes and workouts, it's not gonna be hard for you, right? right. So you also wanna do something that you're good at so you can add valuable content to all of the content that's out there now, right? And if you're passionate about it, just like Sakura said, you're gonna be able to keep going. There is, I think, 93% of blogs are just give up. They're not updated. So it's just that 7% of blogs that are being kept up with. Mm -hmm. So you want to be part of that 7%, right? Right. And also when you're deciding what you want to blog about, it's good to not limit yourself. Yeah. For example, if you are starting a food blog, okay, but food bloggers, you must have a lot, you have to have a lot of time because it's a whole lot of work mm -hmm. and you need to make sure that you know, maybe that's why there's a lot of lifestyle bloggers that are popping up left and right because they can talk about multiple things. So again, you don't want to limit yourself yeah. when you are thinking of what am I going to write about. Next, who is your audience? This is very important to know because you need to understand who you're going to be talking to in order for you to create good content and the appropriate content for those readers, right? Mm -hmm. So do a little bit of research. Right now there's a lot of blogs out there. so. Figure out who's your competition, who writes about similar topics than you're writing, and who's reading them, and what this audience wants more of. Right, right? and again, for, with your competitors, you know, yeah. why are they successful? Mm -hmm. Why do people love them? Are yeah. they showcasing more of their personal side, or is it strictly, for example, maybe just recipes and nothing personal? So again, yeah. it really depends, but it's important for you to determine that before you start it. And that doesn't mean you're gonna turn into someone else. You're not gonna copy someone. It's just market research. You're gonna see what's working for other people, what's not, and you're gonna adapt it to whatever you want to do with your blog. Next, again, what makes your blog different? So, you know, there's mm -hmm. really tons of bloggers popping up left and right. Exactly. And it's really important for you to determine what makes you different. So you want you wanna be a fashion blogger. That's 
great, you know, but obviously there's tons of fashion bloggers too. So what makes you different? Why should people read your blog? Is it, you know, are you being more personal? Are you, your style. are you, your style? Are you showcasing more of like your business side as well? Are you a mom? Are you, you know, exactly. there's so many things. So again, you have to determine those things and you have to make sure that it's out there. Um, so people know why you're different and why they should start reading exactly. your blog. And it's just like here at Blogettes, we consider every single blogger a business owner mm -hmm. and it's a business so just like with any other business if you were to come out with a new line of organic cookies you would have to think why are my cookies better than the competition right, right. so it's the same with blogging if you go ahead and just start blogging without having a strategy without understanding what strengths and are you going to capitalize on that's going to be hard for you so think about it yeah the last but not least uh what resources do i have to learn more about blogging you always need to learn more, and this is my opinion about what you're gonna do, right? The better prepared you are, the better you are gonna, the better outcome you're gonna have. So, yeah. going online and looking for there's a lot of resources online, but also attending workshops like the one that we offer, like not just because it's a bloggers workshop, but really attending um, a workshop like ours will save you so much time. We're there just to save you a bunch of mistakes that we've made before and just to prepare you for all the things that you need to have in order for your blog to be successful or for you to think about and really go into it more prepared and with a better strategy than before. Right, exactly. And you know, today you need social media, for example, exactly. for your blog to succeed. It's a absolute must. Now, if you want to learn more about social media, you need to go somewhere to learn more about it. And yeah. you need to learn about how you can grow your following, mm -hmm. what approach, you know? So, even how are you going to be perceived online? Exactly. Like, you know, that, that's what we do with our branding workshop. Like, how are people going to see you? How are you going to define yourself? There's a lot more to learn. So, we do encourage you to not just right. start. And it's always better to know everything before you start so you don't have yeah. to do it all over again and that's like the biggest thing when it comes to branding is you don't want to do mm -hmm. it all over again and rebrand or anything so again try to learn as much as you can before you actually start don't say you want to make tons of money and you want to make your blog a full time when you don't know how to make money from blogging, <laughs> you know? So you wanna, again, learn everything uh, there is to learn about blogging yeah. um, and social media and you will be good to go. And again, if this is exactly why we have blogettes, we started blogettes, you know? We yeah. learned everything from experience and we want to share all this knowledge and resource with you guys so you guys can learn from us. And so, we keep learning every day. It's yes, an, even us constant evolution in this field there's right. just new things coming up left and right all the time so Your social media channels, everything like everything so again you always want to be updated with um yeah everything those are the top five questions that you need to ask yourself before you start vlogging and thank you so much for being part of this video and if you have any other questions please contact us and subscribe to our channel yep. and thank you so much thanks guys bye, bye.